Ali, come here, you sweetie. Hi. Say hi to the people on the tubes of you. Hey everybody, as you can see right now, our fence is down. That's a little uh, weird way to start this video, but check it out. Getting a new fence put in. Oh, it's gonna be nice. Allie. Oh, she's gonna take a crap. Great. This is this is real life, everyone. So this video is it for me to talk about my dog using the bathroom in the yard or my fence. In this video, I'm talking about this haul I just got of Mary Inglebright. <laughs> Look at her. Hi, good girl. Oi. Uh, Mary Engelbright, Engelbright. I'm probably mispronouncing it. But I went to an estate sale on my lunch break. And I spent 50 bucks. And I'm going to show you what all I got for $50. Not every single thing I picked up was Mary Engelbright. Engelbright. Engel. Engel. It's probably Engelbright. Excuse me? That's what we're going to go with. But I got some great stuff. And uh, we'll figure out together what my average cost of goods per item is and I'll throw up some um, recent sold comps of the items that I got so that you can see what I anticipate this haul eventually giving me when I put it on eBay and flip it and make a profit so without further ado let me show you what I got now I could have like taken it, taken everything out and put it nicely on a counter or something. But yo, this is real life. Look at my shed right now. It's kind of a disaster, but whatever. That's life. That's life, people. So what am I gonna do though? Cause I wanna do this in an organized fashion because tomorrow I do need to come out here in the morning and get photographs taken if I don't do it tonight so that I can get this stuff stored away and listed. So I think what I'll do is Move the old lady britches my wife's old and uh, clear off this area over here and this is where I'll put all the all the goods. So bear with me while I do that real quick. All right, so I guess we'll start with the first thing I grab at a time. Now if you do see Price tags on any of these items, ignore the price tags because I just went up with my basket of stuff and said, hey, I know it's the first day of the sta stale. <laughs> I know it's the first day of the sale, but are you willing to do any negotiating since I'm buying a bunch of stuff? And she said, well, yeah, let's let's count it all out and uh, see what you what we could agree upon. And I said, well, just so you know, for me to throw it out now eyeballing everything in here i was thinking 50 bucks um most of the glasses at the bottom we'll get to those we're only 50 cents so you know what let's here this will be a fun little game let's see what it would have cost me if i didn't throw out a price i'm gonna really kick myself if it would have ended up being cheaper <laughs> ah, oh, okay so they had a five dollar price on this now you might be wondering what the heck is this they call her queen of the kitchen because she looks like a queen and has an apron and a spoon. But yeah, that's what M.E. for Mary Englebright looks like there. Uh, this is from the year I graduated high school, 1999. Woo woo. So that would have cost me five bucks had I not got it in a big lot. So it's going to be a lot of the same because it's all the same brand here. I think this might even go like with this. Don't know if I'm gonna list it that way or not, but all the mugs are 50 cents. So now we're at 550. Six bucks, 650. Same cup, got two of them. Uh, seven bucks, 750. Eight bucks, 850. The queen has spoken. That's kind of a fun one. So dollar, two, three, eight, fifty. Also this one, which is not Mary Inglebright. Uh, just I figured somebody who likes sheep or lambs would like this one. It is the uh, you, get it, you, sheep, of many emotions here. Crazy, wacky woolies. We're almost done with the mugs here. Life is just a chair of bowlies. Oh my goodness, that is awesome a chair of bullies get it instead of a bowl of cherries and then i found this uh 1983 your boy was two years old care bears tender heart bears share some love it's collectible pizza hut glass 50 cents so again one two three four five 
five dollars in the glasses and mugs and then five dollars for the thing that holds the mugs so we're at ten bucks now what mary Inglebright, what i always have kind of known her to be is the lady who uh is obsessed with the tea people who like her like the teapot decor i think maybe that's how she started uh, she has a lot of collectible little teapots and i do have a few of those but this is also and you know what look it's dusty it's gonna need some cleaning that's real life I, this is how i've just picked it you know five hours ago you're gonna see how i saw it when i got it so yeah they were asking five bucks for this so as you can see i've been popping up the sold comps of these uh items and uh this one i'm hopeful is going to at least triple my money but yeah so now if i paid what they were asking the asking price not my not my bundle price we're at uh, 15 bucks what else do we have in here oh yeah these little teapots i was just talking about well this one doesn't have the lid i'm just gonna set them all right here be right back all right and with the magic of editing here are those little teapots i found uh, three of them and their their little lids come off each of them and they have the uh the information right there mary Engelbright. so one two three of them four dollars a pop uh we were at 15 bucks so that is 15 plus 12. oh i really suck at math 15 plus 12 27. it's 27. and then this little figurine it says the queen mother she well, they wanted eight dollars for her Actually, when I looked, I tried to find this old comp for her and I didn't find it. So when I'm editing this and I check worth point, I'm hopeful that uh, this is worth much more than eight, even if I had paid eight, which again, I didn't pay eight. But yeah, again, from 1999, hopefully that comes in okay. I thought that was pretty cool. That's a fun one. So what did I say we were at? 27 plus eight puts us at 35. And then this one, Puts us at 40 bucks. You would hang, it's like a hanger doodad. This is queen of the kitchen. Crap, I already lost count. Five, 10, 15, 25, 26, 27, 40. So we're at, we're at 40 bucks so far. I definitely, um, I barely got a discount, but that's okay. Let me show you what else I got. And nothing, nothing else that I got was Mary Engelbright. So that's all the Mary Engelbright stuff. But these other items, are gonna feel like big money makers. I think we're gonna we're gonna see. We're gonna check it out. Well, if you weren't familiar and you didn't know of this brand, take it out in the light so you can see it better. Wiss USA. These are uh, pinky. Uh, what do they call it? Um, I want to say pink something shears. Why do I want to say pink? I don't know. It has to do with. Um, like sewing and stuff. But these are vintage ones, really nice ones. I'm gonna get that goo off of there. $4, so that would have been 44, right? Had I paid what they were asking, 44. Oh, but I didn't just get one pair of those. I got another pair, a little bit smaller. But again, also Wiss, Main USA, hopefully you can see that. A little bit smaller pair and uh, so 44, they wanted three on that, so we would have been at 47. Now these didn't have a price tag on them, so I don't know what they would have charged me for these, but let's just say two bucks a pop. Or you know what? Let's say let's say two for three to make it an even round 50 bucks. So had I paid their asking price and they gave me two for five for two for three bucks, then this would have been $50. So knowing that, check it out. This they had a $20 price tag on. So I feel like I got a deal because it, essentially this is like, oh, I bought all that stuff, throw this in for free. That's not how I, you know, that wasn't my proposition, but that's how in my mind after the fact. So these are called Color Street Real Nail Polish Strips. And um, there's one, two, three, 18, 16, 17 of them in here various colors and designs and i plan on listing each one individually for like i don't know somewhere from 10 to 12 bucks plus shipping 
they might be a little bit long tail. They weren't flying off the shelves when I looked at the the amount listed versus you know sold comps, which is important to do by the way. But yeah, that's the haul. That's what I got. All of this for 50 bucks. So because you're actually seeing for the first time all of the potential sold comps, you're seeing before I even know like what my potential you know profit is. But I already just know with my experience of, of doing this reselling pretty hardcore for the last couple of years that there's money to be made in that haul that I did today. And I did it within like, I mean, it's like a five minute drive to this estate sale for my place of work. I was there for like 30 minutes and then drove back to work. I didn't even have time to get lunch, <laughs> but definitely worth it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, have you heard of Mary Inglebright? Have you sold it before? If you happen to be a reseller, did you know it was collectible and that people would pay this kind of money that you saw that people pay for these little tchotchkes and mugs? What do you think of my fence? I'll have to give you all an update in the next video and let you know that it's put together. Uh, also, anything else that you want to comment on, I appreciate and I read every comment. So thank you for those of you who consistently do watch my videos and comment. Appreciate you. Feel free to consider giving me the old thumbs up or thumbs down, however you feel. Uh, and please subscribe so that you know the next time I drop a video. All right, last piece is for me to give you an update about something that I just shared in my last video. It sold and I'm gonna talk about it as well as highlight a comment from the last video. So in the power of editing, it will now be the next day and I will do that. Alrighty, so before I say goodbye, I wanna make sure that I highlight a comment from Shelly. She has a YouTube channel called Creating Happy Mondays. Please consider subscribing to her. I'll link that below in the description. She commented about that rodeo clown cookie jar and let me know that it's actually a famous rodeo clown. And I very much appreciated that because I could add that to the title and potentially get more folks who are looking for that specific keyword, that name, to find my listing. So thank you so much, Shelly. Appreciate you. Lastly, wanted to give you all an update that those Trek bicycle seats that I had gotten last week's video, which I'll link right here somewhere uh, if you want to go see it. I paid, remember, only two bucks each for them, and one of them already sold. I listed it, and it sold within like 24 hours for the full asking price of, I wanna say like 40, $42, somewhere around there. So that was really exciting, because I, I think that was more than I spent at the whole estate sale. Please come, make sure you stick with me and come back next week, and I will see you then. Make sure that you remember to have fun. Make money, but stay grounded. See you next week.